Hey everyone, welcome back to my reactions to Devil in Ohio. This is episode five, titled A Light. Suzanne gains more clarity on what May experienced at Amontown. Amontown? Halloween night doesn't go as planned for Jules, who begins to question May's motives. So, I, you know, again, I think May's intentions are innocent enough. You know, she did want to escape the cult, even though, of course, at the end of the last episode, we saw her still kind of in a trance, saying, I must not break the chain. But then, when she was out of the trance, she said, I don't want to go back. So I, you know, honestly, yeah, I think she does want to live with Suzanne and be friends with Jules. I do think that she is trying to protect them. Now, I have a story for you. I unfortunately found out something. Last week, I was mentioning to my spouse about watching this. And the guy that commented about who was on Supernatural, you know, he showed up at the open house and I said, I said, oh, that's that guy from Supernatural. And we kind of got into an argument about the guy's name. So he showed me the guy and I was like, yeah, that's him. And he said, yeah, you know, and he doesn't, you know, he of course hasn't watched the show, so he doesn't know anything about it. He says, yeah, he plays a guy named Malachi. And I went, what? And he showed me and I said, that's May's father who's in charge of the cult. So that kind of changed everything. So unfortunately, when that reveal happens, I'm going to know. And it's not his fault. It was a complete accident. But I told him that. I said, you just revealed something. Because I suspected that he was something like, I didn't know if maybe necessarily he was part of the cult or if maybe it was something else you know like maybe he was a another undercover cop and he was but he was staying undercover I mean he didn't know I figured he had some part in it but then I was like he was at the open house they were the ones that paid for the extra hour of karaoke so that they could break into the house and leave the the flower I was like shit you know it kind of changed a bunch of things especially going forward so then, my husband, being the Pisces that he is, reads the synopsis and then has been teasing me pretty much all week, saying he knows who lives and dies. And I have told him multiple times to shut it. So I really need to get this done so that he doesn't have that power over me anymore. But he's like, I know who lives and dies. And I was like, you shut up. You shut up right now. So don't be pissed at him for the Malachi part because that was a complete accident. But you can be pissed at him for kind of teasing me. And he did that also to me with Midnight Mass, which if you have not seen my reactions to Midnight Mass, go see them. But when I did that, I was talking about it and he's kind of like, because he had heard he had heard something. I don't know, maybe he read the synopsis to that too. I don't know. But he had heard something. And I was like, don't! And then, of course, as we got a little farther, I'd say something and he'd kind of chuckle a bit. And I was like, don't! <laughs> Do not! Do not! Say anything, you know? He kind of giggles at that. So, yeah, I need to get this done so that he doesn't have that power over me anymore. I can be like, ah! Now I know who lives and dies, ass. Such a Pisces. So, unfortunately, that reveal of Malachi is not going to be a surprise. But obviously what will be a surprise are their reactions to him. And like I said, I think May does, doesn't want them to hurt. It says, Jules begins to question May's motives. And I don't really like that because I like that Jules finally accepted her as a friend but we'll see you know maybe everything will be all right man let's get started Ooh, um, that's great 
mass graves with crosses, not inverted crosses. Is that a baby? Is it gonna say never more? Which half means you get to make a wish. <laughs> we got one! <laughs> well, since no one's helping me with my pumpkin, <laughs> I'm gonna practice a new routine. Uh oh. She's burning the nightgown? Or maybe not, maybe she's having a ritual. And I believe Ohio's on Eastern time, so that would be 2.27 for me, because I'm in Central. Just spreading something. It's going to see your car. And the camera. Yep. Saw that coming. Did he know that that was going to happen? Was that a plan? Maybe. So, it was a plan. Good job. What if I don't want to be? Lucifer, accept this sacred light there. Guide and protect him so that we may rely on Where are they all men? Where are the women? And survive the long night and kill the dawning. The chain shall not be broken. The chain shall not be broken. Really? She, oh shit, she dropped her EpiPen. She doesn't have her EpiPen. They torched the house? Why you don't get in a car with a stranger? You can just take the next left. It's okay, Jules. I'll get you ready to be. Um. I mean, I knew he was going to be part of the cult. I knew that guy with the purge mask was going to be part of the cult. Obviously, he probably thought of some story on his way, like, what can I say? Because there'll be questions. So I knew that. The question about the EpiPen is, did Danny just honestly forget, or did someone... And why did they torch that house? Well, at least now he can use the insurance. You know, he can use that to pay off the mortgage, at least. We had a lot going on. And, you know, with Jules, Jules has, of course, always been one of those teenagers who's trying to find herself. You know, and she's talking about how everything comes so easily to May. And I'm like, but you have to remember her life before. She was in this shitty situation. She was abused. And now she's kind of coming out of her shell and finding herself. If anything, you should be a good friend and be encouraging that. Yeah? What I like is that May was immediately like, I don't care about Sebastian. He asked me, I said yes, but, you know, you said you didn't care about the dance, but if you do care about the dance, I won't go. I don't care about him. She said yes, because she figured Jules said she wasn't interested. As soon as Jules admitted she was lying, she's like, hey, I will say no. May really is Jules' friend. I don't know that Jules is necessarily May's friend, but May is Jules' friend. And she's helping her, you know, or trying to. 
And I like what she said to Suzanne, you know, when Suzanne kind of saw the shrine and she said I was making a wish that I could stay here with you. So we have a couple of weeks that have passed since she was walking in the rain. So it kind of makes you wonder if anything else had happened during those few weeks or if maybe that few weeks it was kind of calm and quiet, you know, because it could be this, uh, that woman had said to Suzanne that these guys are a little profile. So it could very well be that they kind of, you know, they had the little bit with the, the, the rose and everything, and then they kind of backed off for a few weeks as they were strategizing what they were going to do, give them like a false sense of safety and security. And of course, Halloween kind of being the devil's night is a night when they strike. Oh, in a way, I can't wait to finish this series because I'm so invested. But at the same time, I'm also like, I don't know that I want to finish it because I'm so invested, you know? But I thank you for joining me for episode five. Obviously, we are more than halfway done. we got three episodes left to go. I'm going to start episode six here in just a few minutes. Let me know your thoughts regarding the first five episodes down in the comments. You know, let me know about what you think regarding how I found out about Malachi. I wish I could have been like, oh, when I saw Malachi, but since I knew who he was now. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments, but be nice because... My husband, it was a complete accident when he said, yeah, he plays a guy named Malachi. So it was accidental. We've probably all seen spoilers and shit of stuff before in the past. It happens, but it is a funny story. Shout out to my editor. She is the one who puts in the intros and outros and the picture in picture and any other graphics. So her link is in the description. If you are looking for an editor, please give her a visit. I'm sure she would love to talk to you. She is excellent. I'll see you soon for episode six. Bye.